Welcome to paradise. <laughs> Last time you saw us, it was two days ago, and we were in Cairns, where we stayed at the very nice but very expensive Holiday Inn, uh, because Cairns had been super busy uh, doing an Iron Man. So uh, it was like the only place we could stay. So anyway, we woke up there, uh, had some brekkie, and had to make our way to Amac to go and see our heroes who had managed to repair the bikes while we'd been on the scuba trip. So we're getting we're getting a rundown from what are your names, sorry? Gerald. Gerald <laughs> and Luke. And Luke um, at AMAC about our bikes. And what were you saying about my car? Yeah, it was a disaster. Basically the there was excess parts in the carburetor, so on your air screw you had two extra washers on there, so it was jamming up too much air in there. The choke cable was seized, so the, the carb was jammed open on the choke side, and your float level was set to 30 mils, and the spec is obviously 14.7, so it was running out of fuel. Right. The choke was jammed open, so it was like a, finding a, an unbalanced medium there. <laughs> So the bike <laughs> certainly wasn't running correctly. It's okay. going to be a bullet now. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. Yeah. And the front brake pads. Yeah. All the oil over the front brake pads. <laughs> um, through all the brake system, we had to dismantle the brake system and then put your new pads in. Um, after putting the new pads in and cleaning everything, they still didn't bed properly. Um, they're not 100% uh, still, so we're hoping after a run down the range, yeah. they'll bed into that disc and then um, give you some more grip there. Yeah. But at least you know you won't go over the handlebars when you put the brakes on there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, at least you can bed into it. Good. How far are you? I like when so, I see yeah, that's right. so you guys we'll got quite a way to go. So yeah, we've got to get yeah. to London. How far do you reckon we're going to get? If the bikes in this, stuff. well, I think they're in certainly well, they're in tip-top condition now yeah, yeah, yeah. compared awesome. to how they were. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so I replaced the spark plugs as well. They're all jammed up because of the fuel mixtures on the carbs. Right. So all that's been cleaned out and sorted out, okay. and the fuel lines were obviously getting melted away and everything on the exhaust. So it's all good. Okay. Yeah, I fixed the fuel leak as well. So was that out straight out of the tank? That was from the, the fuel filter itself. Yeah. yeah okay. From that's the fuel my fault filter, as well. Yeah. Then because yeah. I installed that. So and you're on the good. and you're on the right bike, so yeah. you should uh, it should get better and better bikes. now. Okay, good bikes. Awesome. Anyway, enjoy the rest Thank of the Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> Keep well. All, all the best. <laughs> well, we are done. We're loaded up. Really thankful to the guys here. They've been lovely. They've been ridiculously, ridiculously helpful. So nice. Yeah. Uh, I feel so much happier going off into the great desert uh, with the bikes having been looked after. Yeah. yeah, I'm really curious to see how mine handles. We even bought one of their shirts. Um, right. So we better get on the road. We've wasted most of the morning. Yep, it's 10.30 now, so uh, we're about to head off into these lovely mountains. Yeah. Take a look at it. It's beautiful. Mountains Let's and stuff. Let's do it. Surprise. Yeah, and it's Surprise. so nice. Look, we're under a thing in a gorgeous green thing. I've got a vanilla slice and I'm, I don't know. She's eating it in the most dignified fashion. She's jamming it directly in the mouth. It's good. Yeah, it's where, where it belongs. And the roads were beautiful. Really, really nice roads this morning. Mm -hmm. Now they are really, really boring. Started getting into the sort of outback, long straights, that yeah. sort of stuff. Turn 30 degrees, ride for 40 kilometers. Turn 30 degrees the other way, ride for 40 kilometers. It's pretty boring. Yeah. Um, I like. I don't mind that sort of stuff. This is more hat thing stuff that gets Harry annoyed. Um, I keep looking at all the dirt roads beside the road, being like, "Can I go off on that, or will this get cranky?"
Harry decided to take a sidetrack into a river. So I carried on driving because I wanted to get there before sunset. Or just after sunset. Um, I've been driving slower and he's still not caught up with me. So now I'm starting to get worried. I think I have to ride back. <sighs> like, why? Why did he have to go in this? I might have made an error. Okay, I've definitely made an error. This is like quicksand. Huh, I've never seen a bike bog itself that quickly. Do note the bike bogged itself. I did not bog it. I guess step one is just try and deadlift this puppy. This is just noped on out. She's not interested in playing these. Oh wow! Okay, first method I'm gonna try is the old tip it and drag it. So, over the, oh well, that does not want to give it up. Hey. I feel like it's getting deeper. Um, help. Let's try the deadlift approach again, but actually this is a one-sided deadlift. Just to try to... Bent with the knees. <sighs> Okay. Oh wow, that is so firmly in there. Oh, oh wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe we're camping here for the night. That sounds like her bike now. She's which that's we're going to conclude. Fine, but angry. Hello? Hello. What happened? You know, well, you know how you were always curious about quicksand? Yep. And how it behaves? Yep. 
Uh, it's not like it is in the movies. Yeah. But it is still somewhat bothersome. Yeah. So, are you saying that it was a stupid idea to ride onto this sand river? Uh, that's not what I said at all, nor is that what I meant when I said what I said. I, I, I said I was doing quicksand research in the name of science. Right. And what I found is that it is indeed quite boggy. And the right. second realisation I made while down here is when spinning your back wheel gets you a bit stuck, yeah. spinning your back wheel more yeah. will not get you less stuck. Right. That's what I learned. Okay, we've got up. It's, uh, I'm feeling a lot more awake today. I had a great night's sleep in Croydon. Croydon. <laughs> we're just beside all the other people sleeping, so we're being quite quiet. Um, we've got about 600 kilometers to do today. Uh, it should be a really good day based on how beautiful the scenery was turning out by the time it got dark last night. Mm. Um, we I'm not sure about, we've gone almost 500 kilometres since we last fueled up, so we're going to fuel up here because we're not sure that we'll make it to the next town that's got fuel. Um, and then we'll head onwards and find some brekkie. Yeah, I need some coffee. It could be either 60 or 150 kilometres before Harry gets coffee. We'll see. Let's get going. Fingers crossed this fuel place is open. and we made it to Normanton where we found out there is a rodeo going on so I think they're doing camp draft this morning which I always think camp draft is quite fun to watch so we're gonna go and check out the rodeo and then carry on our way we only had 600 kilometers to do today so definitely this segue won't cause any issues So give us an explanation of what they're trying to do here. So, camp draft. There's a section there where they have half a dozen. Charlie Hackett on the other goes on the camp. And the, um, the rider has to separate one from the rest of the camp. Once he's done that, he turns it up to the camp, still open the gates and bring it out here. And, uh, They've done the figure eight. The rider's got to steer it through the figure eight and then through the Go on, this is the first one we've seen do it. Get him! We're already heading off because we've got so much to cover. Um, I'm, but that was so weird because 
I found myself in the position of me knowing about the sport and Harry actually. <laughs> I had no idea. I was like, why am I keep turning in circles? <laughs> what is the objective here? So I'd gone to see the camp draft when I used to go and work on the farm in the Hunter Valley. They had a camp draft. Um, so I'd learned it then. Yeah, I've seen the one where they lasso, they, they've got to chase down a steer, lasso it and tie up its legs. And I thought that was what the camp draft was, but no, that was the camp draft. I have no idea what happened. We managed to, it, it, all of the ones we filmed though were the people nailing it, which might give <laughs> a viewer a um, mistaken impression that they're actually really easy. Whereas the about 90% of them couldn't even get the steer to go around the first little post. Yeah, the, we only saw three complete the course and we just happened to be filming all three of those. Yeah, most of them don't do any of the, they cut out and then yeah. already. Cut them out of the main yard, which for which they can get a maximum of 26 points, and then no further points awarded. They yep. kept saying for all of the other ones. So yeah, it was good. Yeah, fantastic. Glad to show you something new. Yeah, you taught me taught me a bit about the camp drafting. Yeah. So. All hat no cowboy. What's the, there's some expression like that. <laughs> um. So now we are going to head off to Burketown, um, which is first bit of unsealed road about 220 kilometers from here, 225 kilometers from here. Let's go. G'day. Where have you ridden from? No, just Karumba. Just from Karumba. Oh, yeah. Lovely. What is that? Oh, Sagam? Kajiva elephant. Kajiva elephant? Never even heard of it. Yeah, right. Looks like you do a lot of travelling. Definitely an elephant, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know whether this is meant to turn to dirt or not. I know, it's supposed to be unsealed. Yeah, it's not. Um, I, I know they had a bit that was sealed that before the unsealed section, but I, they should be by now. It's not sealed. There are parts of it. Yeah. He reckons he lives out there somewhere. Oh, right. For the lady we used to put him, Insisted that it was sealed, at least to Burke Town anyway. So maybe they don't know either. Yeah. <laughs> I'm well, guessing this been... the Savannah Way map must be out out of uh, date. I'll speak it off then. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I'm happy if it's sealed. <laughs> I've been up the coat and they've grown it all the roads so they're smooth. Nice yeah. Way. But it's got all this really fine stuff all over the top of it. Oh. And it's just... Marbles. Yeah, a bit oh, wiggly. Oh, yeah. This has got a 17 inch front wheel on it, which does not well. Alright, enjoy. Yeah, right, have a great too. ride. Thank you very much. Thanks for stopping. Huh? Yes. Thanks for stopping. Of course. It's so nice to see another biker. Yeah. Mm. Well, I'll let this... Oh no, we want to get ahead of that guy. How warm this water is, do you reckon? Oh. 
Oh yeah, quite warm. <laughs> we just bumped into a hot spring on the way past and it's literally on the outskirts of town. Look at the brew down there. It's, oh yeah, he's just looking at us. Just watching us make a little video. Um, it's not good, not, not the best timing because I was very much looking forward to using the facilities in Burketown and now I'm standing in front of running water. So that's good. <laughs> yeah, apparently they drilled this about 130 years ago to support the town um, and then realised the water quality wasn't good enough so they used it for cattle. But then they did turn it into a hot shower for travellers. So you had to sort of mix the hot water from that with, or, uh, with cold water to make a hot shower. So that was cool. Anyway, okay, what a lovely stop. <laughs> now onward to Burketown. I'll show you the kangaroo. Fuel's 24 hours. Shop's closed. From 8am to 9.30 due to sorry business. Oh yeah, okay. It is a dope. Yeah. Alright, pub them. Pub. Pub. Where's old where's old mate going on the elephant again? We've seen our old old friend here we bumped into before has made it to here now. Where are you riding to today? Oh boy, stay here a bit. Lovely. Sort of lovely Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, I hope to see you on the road again. <laughs> We made it here. Um, Adele's Grove, it's super quiet. In fact, I don't see anyone else here. I think we might be the only people. Um, and I'm disappointed. So I think maybe we're, in, we're probably in the off season, but they said that they're not doing the river tours, which is something I really wanted to do when I was here. Um, so that's a shame. But yeah, we kind of have the place to ourselves. <laughs> and it's absolutely stunning. We'll show you some videos, um, but... Uh, Wow, it, it is something else. Um, we are camping tonight, so we are all, s well, we are not set up. I have to go and set up now, and then we'll cook dinner. Um, one of those cheap packet things that we absolutely love because they're so easy. Uh, and, then, and then try and get an early night, try and stay warm overnight because we've got another big two days riding ahead of us. We're still getting to Darwin. We've done a third of the way west. We've got another 
1,700 kilometers to go over the next four days. So yeah, more big days. But yeah, it's good. I'm loving the ride. Um, I love the last two days. So happy with how good the bikes are going now. Oh my goodness. Oh. Um, especially Harry, he was super worried. Anyway, uh, we'll see if the bikes continue to do well. Uh, you'll, for that, you'll have to check out the next episode. So if you haven't already, do subscribe. Uh, if you like this episode, give us a like. Um, and we'll see you next time. We found out that the grass sparkles and then when you zoom in on it you can find out why the grass sparkles. Now where are you? There. That's why the grass sparkles. It's full of them. I don't know what kind they are. I find it very strange that the spiders choose to live on the floor. Well, how else do they? There's some sparkles. Yeah, it's on there. Oh, and it's so eerie that only the lens picks it up. I'm not able to see what that is. Where's some more sparkles? There's some over there. They're pretty much everywhere. They're looking at me. What are your thoughts? You've got sparkly eyes, you're a spider. I want to go inside my tent now.